The Bottoms GC. Venti is online. Hey guys are you all doing nothing today? Tinery and three more others is online. What's up? Hello. You guys on your day off? Yeah. Yes and it's boring. Well relaxing at home is quite boring. Yeah I got nothing to do here before my babe leaves for work. That's what I'm about to say. Today's so boring. I'm surprised that you don't have any work today. Hey people need to rest you know. I think you don't do work anyways. What? Ha 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 ha. Venti is quite lazy. And not. Eva is online. What's going on here? Venti's bored. I can see that. Well there's nothing else to do this early in the morning. Didn't you get some fresh air outside? Or admire the weather? Or drink coffee? You guys know that Venti's lazy right? Stop it with the me topic. Not gonna lie he really is one. I bet he's still in bed right now. Hey. See. Well that's why you're bored. It's not like you have better else to do. Well there's a lot of things to do when you're bored. Yeah like watching TV. I don't want that. Thoma and six more others is online. What's going on here? You guys woke me up. Yeah I'm in the middle of my day off. This is probably Venti's doing. It is. Like I said. I'm bored. If you're bored then sleep again. Yeah just sleep it all up. I don't wanna sleep anymore. Can't you see I'm wide awake. You stubborn brat. Venti really doesn't have a lot of things to do at his place. Yeah the only thing that he does is laze around. That really sounds like him. Indeed. Agreed. Wow. Ha 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 ha. Venti scores again. I know right. Ha 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 ha. You guys are always ganging up on me. No we're not. Alright we'll make it up to you. What do you wanna do? You better answer fast. What there's a time limit. Maybe or maybe not. Pick something interesting please. Yes the one that won't make us bored. Isn't that supposed to be his line? Come spill it. Let him think. What if he can't think? Ha 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 ha. Shut up. I have a brain you idiot. Oh do you. What the heck you guys. Ha 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 ha. Come on where is it? You guys look excited do you? Well here it is. We're gonna be doing a prank. Is it on our boyfriends again? What is it gonna be? Another prank. So original. Let's hear this one out. Okay what kind of prank are we doing this time? I don't want a idiotic one please. Agreed. It's not. It's going to be not saying I love you back to our boyfriends. Not say I love you back? Yeah. That can only make them late for their jobs. I agree. It sounds fun though. Yeah it's thrilling. Well it won't waste that big of a time. So I think it'll be fun. Hearing a prank is already fun for me so I'm doing this. You all better not regret this. Well we always do this anyway. Let's just enjoy it. Enjoy till they don't go to work at all. Wow you predicted it already. That's kinda new. I'm just saying. This won't hurt them you guys. Actually they will be hurt. Not a physical one but an emotional one. Sucks to be them right. His really go into this. Let's just all tag along and go with the flow. Maybe this won't go bad. Believe me it will get worse. Alright people. Get out of here and wait for your boyfriends to leave the house. Not saying I love you back. You all got that. A very clear explanation it is. We knew that from the very beginning. Yeah. Stop yapping and let's get on with it. Everyone is a flying. At Shao and Eva's house. Eva preparing breakfast. This should do it. Zio going downstairs. Babe where are you? He woke up. Zio going in the kitchen. You're right on time. I just finished breakfast. Zio hugged Eva from behind. Are you still sleepy? Yeah. My eyes won't open up. Silly. Let's go eat before the food gets cold. The two going in the dining room. Babe open your eyes. You'll bump into the table. The two sat down and started eating. This is good. Glad you like it. After you're done eating you should head to the bathroom. I've prepared your bath already. I'll help clean. Don't worry I'll do it. Just enjoy your meal. The two continued eating. 20 minutes later. The two finish eating. Zio stood up and kissed Eva on the forehead. I'm gonna take a bath now. Go on. Zio leaving the dining room and going upstairs. Time to clean this up and go to my position. Eva cleaning the table and bringing the dishes into the kitchen. Time to position myself. Eva going in the living room while carrying some popcorn. Let's watch some TV. Eva sat down on the sofa and turned on the TV. 
Hehe. <laughs> Eva watching TV while eating popcorn. 23 minutes later. Zyro going downstairs. Babe where's my shoes at? Right by the door. Thanks. Zyro entered the living room. I'm gonna go now. Zyro kissed Eva on the lips. Bye babe. I love you. Go. Go. Go on. Stay safe. Babe. What? I love you. Yeah I know. Now be on your way. Be on my way. Yes now go. Babe are you forgetting something? Forget what? I said I love you. Yeah I know. You really should be going or you're gonna be late. I'm not leaving until you say it back. Say what back? Babe I'm telling you you're gonna be late. Babe just say it already so I can leave. Say what is? I already told you be on your way and stay safe. Do you want another kiss? I would want that but I want you to say I love you back to me. You already said it now go. That doesn't count I was the one that said it. Babe you're gonna be late. Zyu grabbed both of Eva's shoulder. I love you. Ha 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 ha. Why are you laughing? Your face. It's hilarious. Ha 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 ha. You're having fun toying with me. I do. Eva kissed Shao on the lips. Blush. Are you still not gonna say it? You cry baby. I love you. I love you more. Zyro hugged Eva. I'm off. Zyro leaving the living room and left the house. At Ito and Gorao's house. Gorao sitting outside the porch. Fresh air. Ito going outside. Babe I made us some sandwiches. Yummy. Gorao started eating a sandwich. Aren't you getting ready for work? I'm about to now. Go and take a bath already. You stink. I do not. Just go. Ito hugged Gorao. Babe I'm eating. Eat well. Ito going back inside the house. He's energetic as always. Gorao stood up and watering the plants. Today's greens are growing so fast. Just look at my tomatoes. Soon they'll be about to get cooked. Gosh I got so full by eating that sandwich. Gorao finish watering the plants. There you go. Grow fast my little one. Gorao going inside the house. Him seeing Ito dripping wet and butt naked. Blush. What the heck? Why are you out naked? Oh hey babe. What are you doing? Go back in the bathroom. Relax babe. I just forgot the towel. Jeez cover up. Gorao cover Ito's body. I'll be back babe. Got to put my clothes on. Ito going upstairs. What's with him? Gorao went in the living room. It's time for him to leave the house. Ito coming downstairs. Babe. Ito peeked at the living room. I'm off. Yeah yeah. I love you. I'm okay. Why aren't you leaving yet? Did you forget something? Babe I said I love you. Yeah I heard you. Now you should go. Aren't you gonna say it back? Say what back? Babe do you even love me? Of course. Then why aren't you saying I love you back? Babe stop with this nonsense and go already. Ito walking towards Gorao. I. Love. You. Um. Ito making a sad face. Oh you. Gorao grabbed Ito's face. I love you too. Ito kissed Gorao on the lips. See you later. Blush. Ito leaving the living room and left the house. At Sino and Tinery's house. Tinery waking Sino up. What? Wake up. Give me a minute. Sino hugged Tinery's waist. Tinery poking Sino's forehead. Get up sleepy head. You're gonna be late for work. Do you want Alhatham to punish you? Later. Tinery grabbed both of Sino's cheeks and kissed him. Alright I'm up. Works every time. The two leaving the bedroom. Here sit down. I've prepared you your meal. Where's yours? I already ate a couple of hours ago. Finish this up and straight for a bath you go. Got it. Sino started eating. Tinery going in the kitchen. 26 minutes later. Sino finished eating. Him bringing the dishes in the kitchen. Babe I'm done. I'll take care of that. Sino handed the dishes to Tinery. You're the best. Sino kissed Tinery on the cheek and left the kitchen. Tinery started washing the dishes. What to do later? Should I go shopping? Or go to the library to borrow some books? Do we have more eggs? Tinery opened the fridge. We have no eggs and vegetables. Then I guess I'll be grocery shopping later. Tinery continued washing the dishes. 16 minutes later. Tinery sitting at the sofa and reading a magazine. Sino coming in the living room. Babe I got to go I'm gonna be late. Sino kissed Tinery's forehead. Careful on your way out. Sino walking towards the door. I love you babe. Okay. 
Sino stopped at the living room door. Sino walking back towards Tinery. Babe what did you just say? I said okay. Okay. Not the other one. What are you talking about? Babe don't play around with me. Are you trying to make me late for work? What no? Then why aren't you saying it? Say what? I love you back. That? Yes. Didn't you always say I love you back whenever I say I love you? Babe you're overreacting things. I'm not. Babe say it. Stop with this and go to work. I'm not leaving until you say it. Ha 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 ha. Why would you go that far? Do you really want to be punished at work? I'm fine with that. But you not saying I love you back I'm definitely not fine with that. You silly boy. Babe I love you. I love you too. I'll get going. I'll try to come back home early. Have a great day. Sino leaving the living room and left the house. At Kia and Albedo's house. Albedo eating chips in front of the window. What a weather. Him seeing Klee waving her hand. Play nice now. Kia hugged Albedo from behind. Are you done eating? Yeah. Then you should take a shower and go to work. Babe I still got time. How many? About 20 minutes. Then let's go accompany my sister outside. We shall. The two going downstairs and headed outside. Brother. Brother and big brother Kia let's play ball. He running towards the two. This brother will play with you in 20 minutes. Just me. Yeah. Let's go big brother Kia. Alright let's play catch. Go long Klee. Okay. Here it comes. Kia pass the ball to Klee. Got it. Now throw it back to me. Klee pass the ball and hit Kia on the head. Ugh. Oh no. Three points. Babe what do you mean three points? Okay that's enough playing for you. But we just started. The two of us will play. Right now Kia is not feeling it today so he's got to go. I can take more few hits. No. Kia walking towards the house. Let's continue playing. The two continued playing. 17 minutes later. Kia coming outside the house. Babe I'm leaving. Kia hugged Albedo and kissed him on the cheek. Bye bye big brother Kia. Bye little one. You watch your brother now. What are you saying? Hehe. <laughs> I love you babe. Yeah yeah get on with it. Babe. What? I said I love you. I heard you the first time. Aren't I getting one? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on babe. That was my good luck charm. What is? Stop talking nonsense. Babe. I love you. Okay I get it now go. Babe why are you so in a rush for me to leave? Are you guys fighting? No we aren't fighting. Baby what's going on? I said I love you. Why aren't you saying I love you back? Big brother you're supposed to say I love you too to big brother Kia. Yeah. Why are you two teaming? He said you're his good luck charm. That's not what he said. Kia and Klee looking at Albedo with cute eyes. What is this? Alright. I love you too. Yes. Kia kissed Albedo on the lips. I'm off now. Blush. Kia walking away from the two. Alhatham and Kave walking around town. I told you. There's no need for you to come grocery shopping with me. It's fine. I'll help you pick up some stuff and head to work. Wow. Do be really leaving me with a lot of heavy bags. Let's go check over there. I believe we don't have any cereals left. Changing the topic already. The two looking around the market. Should we get this? Kave holding a teacup. No. We already have two of those. But it's different style. It's so pretty. It's the same. No. Look the cereals are over there. The two heading towards the breakfast stand. Whoa. They have the new coconut flavor. That's new. What's so good about these? These are healthy morning goods. You should try some. Ugh. Don't make that face and get five of these. Are you crazy? That's so much. It's not that many. You fool. I'll take two please. The seller handed the two cereal to Kave. Thank you. Babe let's go that way next. Alhatham pointing at the side with full of food stalls. Really? I wanna try free stuff. You can't be serious. The two heading towards the food stalls. 30 minutes later. What the hell? I'm so full. The free samples was great. No kidding. You were trying everything you see. Well it's free. 
What do you expect? What the hell do I expect? After you try them you buy one. Look at all of these. How am I supposed to carry this all home? You can do it. Bastard. Cave walking angrily away from Alhatham. Hold on. I'll take two of these please. Unbelievable. Babe wait. What? Here two more. Cave snatch the plastic bag from Alhatham. Get lost already. Cave walking away from Alhatham. Babe wait. What? Gonna hand me some more stuff. No. I'll help you carry those back. No thanks. Alhatham grabbed a few bags from Cave. Come on let's go home. You better carry this too. Alright alright. The two on their way home. Ten minutes later. The two arrived at their house. Can you handle bringing all of these inside? Of course I can handle it all. Don't sulk now. I'm not sulking. And why are you still here? Go to work. Just wait. Alhatham pulled Kaveh's waist and kissed him on the cheeks. Take a break after you put this away. I know. Good. Alhatham walking away. See you later babe. I love you. Bye. Alhatham stopped walking. What? I said bye already. You should be leaving right now. Alhatham walking towards Kaveh. Didn't you hear what I said? What now? Alhatham grabbed Kaveh's cheek. What's with you? I love you. Huh? Now say it back. You bastard. I'm not hearing it. Sigh. I love you too. I love you more. Alhatham kissed Kaveh on the lips. Blush. Get out of here. See you later. Alhatham walking away from Kaveh. At Razor and Bennett's house. Bennett hanging the laundries outside. This is the perfect day to do the laundry. It's windy and sunny at the same time. I hope this dry fast. Is he awake and eating already? He better be. Or else he's gonna be late for work. Bennett continued hanging the laundries. Razor coming outside and walking towards Bennett. Need any help here? It's alright I got this. Razor hugged Bennett from behind. Have you eaten yet? I've just finished. That's good to know. What about you? Did you eat yet? Razor kissed Bennett on the cheek. I did an hour ago. Should I take a day off too? Why are you feeling sick today? No. What's wrong my sweet? I just don't wanna leave you here all alone. Oh you. Don't worry about me. I don't want to leave you here. How cute. What time will you be coming home later? Around 7. Then I'll be at the door patiently waiting for you to come home. Razor hugged Bennett tightly. You should go in and get ready. I know. Bennett kissed Razor on the lips. Razor walking back towards the house. He's so cute. Bennett continued hanging the laundries. 16 minutes later. Bennett entered the house. Him seeing Razor all dressed up. Would you look at that? I'm ready. You sure do. Well then. I'm off. I'll see you later tonight my sweetheart. Razor kissed Bennett on the lips. I'll be right here. I love you. Yes yes. Hum? My love where is it? Where's what? Where's my I love you back? Oh. Razor looking sadly at Bennett. Oh you. I love you too. Good luck with work. I will. Razor left the house. At Ayato and Thoma's house. Thoma cleaning the dining room. He better be dressing up right now. He's 12 minutes late already. Sigh. Can't believe he woke up late. This never happened before. Maybe is due to overworking too much. Thoma leaving the dining room. I'm beat. Thoma going in the living room. Today's my day off but why do I feel it isn't? I need a rest. Thoma laid on the sofa. Ayato entered the living room. Someone's lazing around. Who are you pointing at? Darling I think you need to walk around more. And why would I need that? Ayato fixing his hair in front of the mirror. Judging by your day off today. It looks like you're gonna be in bed the whole day. Why not walk around the garden? I don't want to. Why not? Walking is a good health you know. I know that. But today's my day off and I want to rest here at peace. There's no need to be angry. Why are you so pushy today? Just because I'm at home. It's not like that. Ayato walking towards Thoma. I'm not in the mood. Ayato grabbed Thoma's chin. My sweet I was just telling you to move around while you're on your day off. That way you'll be full of energy for later. Later? What do you mean by that? For later tonight. Tonight. Ayato kissed Thoma on the lips. Blush. I hope you understand. 
You've planned this up didn't you? Indeed. Now then. I'll be on my leave. That's right. Ayato kissed Thoma on the lips. I love you my darling. Thoma looked away. Where are you looking at? Nothing. Is there something? There's nothing. You should get going. You don't want to be late do you? Babe. Yes. I love you. Why are you staying silent? Where's my I love you back? Would you look at the time? Darling I really think you should be going already. Don't change the topic. Are you still mad? No I'm not mad. Then say it. Um. I love you. I. Come on. I love. A little bit more. I love you too. There it is. Ayato kissed Thoma on the lips. I'll be hoping for tonight's plan. Blush. Ayato leaving the living room and left the house. At Tomo and Kazuha on their way home. Don't you think we brought too much stuff? No we didn't. This is just average. I want to eat steak for tonight's dinner. Then I can't wait to come home early. Speaking of early. Shouldn't you be getting ready for work? Don't worry babe. After we arrive home I'm gonna take a shower and prepare myself. Wait you're not gonna eat? Sadly no. What you're not gonna eat before leaving? Babe I'm already 10 minutes late. I don't want you to be sick. If I'm late I won't be able to go to work at all. What a shame. Come on babe don't be like that. The two arrived at their house. Finally were home. Do you need help of putting these away? No I can do it myself. Alright babe. Then I'm gonna take a bath now. Go ahead. Tomo walking towards the bathroom. Now let's see. Kazuha going in the kitchen with the groceries. Now let's see. Kazuha organizing the foods. 19 minutes later. There we go. All tucked in. Tomo suddenly hugged Kazuha from behind. Whoa. Don't sneak up on me like that. You scared me. Did I really? Yes you did. Hehe. <laughs> Why are you still here and not at work? You're gonna be late. Relax my honey. Don't you give me that look. Get going already. Right after my kiss. Tomo putting on a kissy face. Kazuha kissed Tomo on the lips. Then now go. Tomo walking away from Kazuha. See you tonight babe. I love you. I know. Tomo stopped walking. Babe what did you say? What? After my I love you to you. What did you say? I said I know. You know? Yes now go to work. So the I love you too is exchanged by I know now. You could say that. No I don't want that. I would like the other one please. Stop playing around and go. Babe you're the one that's toying with me. I'm not. Babe. I'm not playing around here. So am I. Babe am I really not hearing it today. Tomo walking towards Kazuha. Stop with this nonsense. I love you. Babe I'm waiting until you say it. What in the world? I'm not really leaving until I hear it. You big baby. I love you my honey. I love you too. Tomo kissed Kazuha on the cheek. See you later now. Tomo leaving the kitchen and left the house. At Chongyun and Zinkyu's house. Chongyun putting his pants on. Yun Yun where are you? Come have a bite of your food. Coming. Chongyun walking out of the bedroom and going downstairs. Babe where are you? Chongyun entered the dining room. I'm here. Why haven't you put your shirt on? I'll put it on later. Right now we need to eat I'm running late. You're being late because you overslept. I know I know. Eat slowly. Don't rush it. The two started eating. 15 minutes later. I'm done eating. Drink some water. Chongyun drank a cup of water. I'm gonna put on some shirt. Be right back babe. Chongyun left the dining room and headed upstairs. Can't believe it. Zinkyu cleaning the dining room and bringing the dishes into the kitchen. Zinkyu coming out of the kitchen. Chongyun running downstairs. Slow down. You might fall. Babe where's my bag? Right over there by the door. Thanks. Zinkyu pulled Chongyun's necktie. Look at you. Can't even dress right. Hehe. <laughs> Here I'll fix it. Zinkyu Ray doing Chongyun's necktie. Are you mad that at me for waking up late? No. I'm mad at you for going to work in such a rush. Well I'm late of course I'm gonna rush work. Enough talk and go. Alright alright. Chongyun putting his shoes on. I'll send you a message when I arrive at work. Okay. I love you. Alright now go. Chongyun looked at Zinkyu. What? I said I love you. 
I already heard that. I don't get an I love you back. Yun Yun you're gonna be late. Just look at the time. Chong Gaon stood up in front of Zing Kyu. What? I love you so so much. Don't give me that look. Babe. Jeez. I love you too. Now get going. Chong Gaon kissed Zing Kyu on the lips. I'll text you. Chong Gaon left the house. At Zhongli and Child's house. The two coming out of the bathroom. That was refreshing. Zhongli hugged Child from behind. Should I take a leave today? No you can't. But I wanna stay here with you. Your work is more important. I won't go anywhere. I'll be right here waiting for you to come home. Zhongli nuzzled Child's neck. That tickles. The two went in the bedroom and putting on some clothes. Ten minutes later. Child coming out of the bedroom and going downstairs. Today's a break day. Getting some rest the whole day is great. Child entered the living room. What to do in today's day off? Hum. Let's watch some movies for now. Child sat on the sofa and turned on the TV. This is the life. Zongli coming downstairs and entered the living room. My sweet how do I look? Looking expensive as always. What are you saying? Hehe. <laughs> Zongli walking towards Child. I'm kidding. Then how do I look? Looking handsome as always. Child pulled Zongli's necktie. What's this? Child kissed Zongli on the lips. A good luck charm. Wow that's new. Yeah. Then I'm off. I'll come home early later. Then I'll be right here. Watching movies. Don't overdo it. It's not gonna hurt my eyes that much. You silly. I'm going now. I love you. See you later. Darling. Yeah. You're forgetting something. Me. Hum. There's nothing I forgot to bring downstairs. I don't mean that. I mean you forgot to say something to me before I leave. I got nothing to say anymore. My sweetheart are you trying to not make me go to work? What no? Then aren't you gonna say it any time now? That was my lucky charm to exact. Blush. Don't be silly. So can I have my good luck from my darling right here? Oh you. Chilled hugged Zongli. I love you too. My ears are turning red. Get out of here. Ha ha ha. I'm going now. Careful on your way out. Zongli walking out of the living room and left the house. At Scaramouche and Hizau's house. Hizau mopping the floor. Today's gonna be a good day. I can really feel it. Hizau looking at the window. Whoa. Look at the weather. A perfect day for having a walk at the park. Scaramouche running downstairs. Babe where are you? I'm at the living room. Scaramouche rushed in the living room. Slow down now. Babe I need my kisses. But I'm cleaning right now. Babe I'm gonna be late. You really? He's a walking towards Scaramouche. Can't believe you hurried here for just a kiss. Who else wouldn't want your kisses? Stop saying ridiculous things. I'm telling the truth. Just be quiet or else I'm not giving it to you. I'm quiet as a mouse. You. He's a kissed Scaramouche on the lips. I want another one. Are you serious right now? I'm waiting. He's out kissed Scaramouche on the lips. There. That's the last one. Scaramouche looked at He's out. That's enough kisses for you. Hehe. <laughs> Get to work already. Time is ticking you know. I'm going. Scaramouche backed away from He's out. See you later now. Don't leave the house. I was about to tell you I'm going for a walk later. I'm telling you. Fine I won't. Good. I love you. Damn you. What was that? Nothing. I heard you say something. It's nothing so go already. You're pushing me away with no I love you back. No I didn't. Yes you did. No I did not. You sure? Just leave already. No I'm not going until you say it. Look I'm not pushing you back. I was just saying that you should go because you're gonna be late. It looks like you're pushing me away from my perspective. I told you I didn't. Then let's hear it. I love you too. Are you happy now? Indeed I'm am. Um. Scaramouche kissed Hiza on the lips. I'm off for real this time. Get your ass out of here already. Scaramouche coming out of the living room and left the house. At Dilok and Venti's house. Dilok putting his shirt on. Aren't you gonna get up off bed already? No. You really are lazy. Hey. Today's my day off and I'll do whatever I want whenever I want. It sounded like an excuse. It's not. Get up before the food gets cold. So bossy. I'm not saying it again. 
I'm getting up. Venti stood up and got off the bed. The two going downstairs and headed to the dining room. Why haven't you leave already? Because I got to prepare our meals before leaving. Venti looked at the table and seeing one plate of food. Why is it only one? I already ate. This one's for you. Eat it before it gets cold. You hate eating with me that much? It's not like that. Do be really thinking of me snatching food off your plate. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how you hate eating with me. I've never said that. Well you didn't say it but it looks like it. Can you stop overthinking things and eat already? No. I will be not eating today. Are you sure about that? No I don't want to eat anything. Fine. Do what you want. Dilok fixing his hair in front of the mirror. Jerk. What? Venti leaving the dining room and going upstairs. Sigh. Dilok walking out of the dining room and headed upstairs. Him seeing Venti laying on the bed. You're really not eating? Dilok sat down on the bed beside Venti. Stop being stubborn and go back downstairs. I told you I'm not eating. Dilok grabbed Venti's hands and leads on top of him. What? I told you it's not like that. Lies. I ate first because I'm going to work. I'm already being more late by asking you to eat. Then just leave already if you're being late. You're really making it harder for me to leave. Now you're blaming me. Dilok kissed Venti on the lips. Get off. Dilok kissing Venti's neck. What are you doing? You're gonna be late for work. Stop it. Dilok taking off his shirt. What the? I'm not going to work anymore. Dilok taking off Venti's clothes. At Ryathli and Nuvelet's house. Ryathli taking off his clothes. Nuvelet coming out of the bathroom. Done taking a bath already. What you're gonna join me or something? I was about to. Too bad. Don't tease me or else I'll drag you back in there. How aggressive. Don't try me I will do it. Go in already. You won't wanna miss work. Should I work from home today? Go in. Ryathli going in the bathroom. Nuvelet putting his clothes on. 17 minutes later, Nouvellet going downstairs and entered the dining room. Food's already prepared. Nouvellet sat down and started eating. Ryathelai coming downstairs. Babe where are you at? Hum? He's probably eating right now. Ryathelai entered the dining room. You're all dress up. Come and join me eat. I have no time babe. I'm gonna be late for some important paperwork. That important? Yeah. I wish I can join you. Ryathelai kissed Nouvellet on the forehead. Enjoy your meal. I'm just gonna put my watch and fix my hair. Alright. Ryathelai walking out of the dining room. Nouvellet continued eating. Five minutes later. Nouvellet coming out of the dining room. Him seeing Ryathli putting his shoes by the door. You're gonna see me off today. You see me here standing don't you? Ryathelai stood in front of Nouvellet. I'm off. Ryathelai kissed Nouvellet on the lips. See you later darling. Be careful on your way to work. Yes I will. I love you. Nouvellet opened the door. There. Babe. Yeah? Aren't you forgetting something? Forget what? Before I leave. Before you leave. Babe. Yes. I love you. Nouvellet looked away. I really think you should be going now. Or else you'll be really late. Babe I can't tell if you're doing this on purpose. What is? I said I love you and you're not saying it back to me. You're being silly. I'm not being silly here babe. Where is it? Um. Babe. Hum. You're really testing me are you? No. Then. You know you should go. Ryathelai kissed Nouvellet on the lips. I love you. You're really not leaving without me saying it back. I'm not leaving even if it takes me noon just to hear you say it. You silly boy. I love you too. Ryathelai hugged Nouvellet tightly. See you later babe. I'll text you before I'm off of work. I'll be waiting. Ryathel I left the house.